On this edition of This Old Bike, we're going to go over the electrical system on this 1983 XL 600R. In the process of trying to get this old machine running, I've uh, already gone through the carbs and got them to run fairly smooth and idle fairly smooth, so I can now start troubleshooting the electrical system. I've obviously got enough spark to make it run, but I'm not getting correct voltage to run either the uh, battery, charge the battery, or the lights. So, starting down here, <laughs> is where the stator is located. On these early Hondas, the stators serve three functions. You're basically getting three stators in one. You have an ignition stator, a battery charging circuit of the stator, and a lighting circuit portion of the stator. All those wires come out right here and work their way up to here. And here you can see where it breaks away. The black and red wire is for the ignition, portion of the stator and the remaining wires are for the lighting and battery charging portion of the stator. This other wire coming out of your engine right here is your neutral indicator wire. The other uh, wires that come out of the engine located over here is I believe your pulse generator coming from here. So these wires work their way up. The ignition wire works its way all into this, this unit right here, the CDI, Capacitive Discharge Ignition. And here is um, your ignition coil. And that's pretty obvious because it's got the spark plug lead hooked right up to it. Working our way back from the CDI, we get to the portion where I'm working on right now. We get an AC transformer and an AC transformer rectifier. Let me get the original component. Here's the original AC trans regulator rectifier and then the and like I said the stock AC transformer. This regulator rectifier is for the battery side of the of the stator circuit to get you 12 volts regulated DC power to the battery and this AC regulator is part of the lighting circuit. I was getting unlimited voltage to the battery indicating that this regulator rectifier was in op so I've replaced it with a trail tech unit which wires directly into the original wiring for the regulator. Red goes to red, that's the battery. Ground, black goes to green, remember on Honda green is the convention for ground wiring. The two yellow wires go to the stator, the battery charging portion of the stator, pink and yellow, and then one extra wire for the lighting circuit, which goes to the original black wire on the Honda. From here, the uh, wiring works its way around to charge the battery, which is normally located here. That's what I'm charging right now, replacing. And uh, you've got your 12-volt uh, positive with a fuse and a spare fuse conveniently located right here and your ground wire. Uh, here is a flasher for the uh, turn signals. And you'll see there's a spare ground wire here. And looking at the schematic, the original schematic, that's correct. There was an extra ground wire right there. There's only two wires going to the uh, turn signal relay. Because if you're looking for the actual ground for the entire electrical system, which is really important, it's located right here, right in front of the ignition coil. And that's the ground to the entire electrical system right there. And of course, from there, the wires work their way back to the turn signals and the rear tail light. And here is your rear brake light switch. Working forward, I've taken the headlight off so I can troubleshoot up here. Here's your uh, headlight uh, plug here. You've got your 12 volts going to your horn, then you've got wiring coming up to the ignition harness and splitting off for backlighting of the speedometer, turn signal indicator, high beam indicator, neutral indicator. Two turn signals and splits off to go through these switches for your high and low beam, left and right turn signals, horn switch, and a kill switch over here which opens or opens the ground for the ignition. The ignition circuit killing the bike. All of this can be gleaned from the original 1983 service manual wiring diagram schematic and all the colors on this wiring diagram hold true to the actual bike as this bike with only 6,000 miles the, elect the electrical system has not been chopped too chopped up yet. <laughs>